We got free pie samples, folks. You guys are gonna hurt my feelings if you don't try my pie. Come on. Pie is very universal, and I think it can be a bridge. Thank you, ma'am. I'm definitely doing my part for diversity at some markets. <laughs> Sometimes it's culture shock for some people, you know. I'm black and Puerto Rican, and I'm from the city, and I'm from the hood. Sometimes just looking at me, people, they don't know how to take me at first. Oh, I'd be happy to help you out. But I'm selling pie, so I know that you're going to love me at some point, because, I, you know, I'm, you're going to love this pie, and I make the pie, you're going to love me. I know this. Best pie is the entire planet, right here. You become kind of safe when you, you bake pie. Don't miss your chance to get a pie before we sell out yet again. Here's a picture of him. I've got two brothers. One is uh, three years older, one's three years younger. And so I was the middle child. From my grandma, I learned to how to take care of people with food. She would cook for about 34 people every Thanksgiving. I would hang out with her and just watch. And then after a while, you know, you can only hang out in the kitchen so long before they, you know, grab this, do this, and put this in there, and then they put you to work. That's how I learned how to cook. How these dishes are. This is another one of my grandma's pots. I got two of them. Literally, the business was built in that pot. You know, that was the pot I used to even cook sweet potatoes and uh, do whatever. She, she passed, and uh, I always felt that, that she's with us anyway, but uh, you know, she has to know that I'm selling pie. You know, she has to know that. This is me back selling investments, my investment days with my brother Brian. I sold investments for 10 years. The prospect of helping people with their investments was attractive to me. And uh, the funny thing is I used to think that being an investment advisor was really rewarding. and. Uh, it is, but it's nothing compared to if somebody gets one, one fork full of pie. Now you're not going to love your mutual fund. You know, you're going to worry about it. To get to that love, you know, where you can get there so quick with, you know, with pie or with food. Baking and cooking for me was definitely a stress reliever. You're getting big, man. Think that's good? Uh, a little more. A little more. When Jonathan was born, it's become kind of full circle. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, you got it all easy with this. <laughs> I had already had thoughts of uh, starting a pie business down the road. I was in an Asian grocery store and I discovered these Okinawan purple yams. And then one day the light bulb went off I'm like, wow, I bet I could make a pretty mean sweet potato pie. Fortunately, I was out of work. It had been out of work for uh, quite some time. I got to the point where I wasn't going to ask anybody else for a job. I just needed to figure out what was next. And uh, we went and got a couple dozen eggs and <laughs> got started. I knew what I could do. You know, I knew I could make the pies. I knew I could sell the pies. Something in it. I'm trying to figure out what the taste is. What is it? It's good. We put love in it. <laughs> That's good. Man, you delicious. Thank you. It kind of uh, grew organically and uh, slowly in the beginning. Thank you so All right, much. sir. Thanks a lot. A good day would be I'd get up and bake a few pies and I'd sell them and uh, you know I'd pick Jonathan up from school and you know we would make dinner and you know and I'd make enough money to make dinner. Felt better than most of the days that I had uh, selling investments. You know, something about working for yourself. If there was criticism, what would we do? It's too tasty. It's too tasty. That's not criticism. Yes, it is. We got free pie samples, guys. Come on. And then the farmer's markets came along. Best pies anywhere. The first time somebody called me the pie guy, it could, I wasn't ready for it. And they, they yelled across the street, hey, pie guy. I'm like, what? Who? And I'm thinking, no. And then pretty early, pretty quickly, I got, I love it now. It's awesome, you know, to be recognized for something that you do. But when somebody genuinely takes a, a bite and they're like shocked that it's that good, that's, you know, that's the best praise you can get. You know, a pie can remind you of your grandma. It can bring a, a warm feeling back in it, and that is very necessary.
it's, it's not a necessity, but it's, it's close. Yeah.